Hello and welcome back to this week's video. I'm sorry I haven't posted in ages, I got really really lazy. But today, as you can tell by the white thing and the pencil, we're drawing! Today we're going to be drawing Jack Skellington from Nightmare Before Christmas because I watch that film all year round and I do not care who says It's not a Christmas film, it's a Halloween film and it's a Christmas! I love it and I will take it seriously. So. Why is my page so dirty? Today I am doing that for a bit of fun. We have new stuff to try, mainly charcoal, which I'm very excited for. As you can tell, charcoal, normal. Charco charcoal, normal. See the difference? So, to start off with for Jack Skellington, we'll get into this now because I'm going to run out of time anyway. Start with Jack Skeleton, you have to start by drawing. I am sat way too close to the page. You start by drawing just a circle. I'll try and freehand this, see if I can just do it. Obviously, it would be better if you had like a compass or something, because it would be a perfect circle. That is not a circle. Give me one second. So, fixed it. I've just gone, eh, it's close enough. So, I'm going to leave it like that. Next is his eyes which are abnormally sized if you can tell bedding is a reference so i'm gonna try and do this one on the camera but we won't be able to make a circle make a circle very very crooked and different sizes but nothing will ever be the perfect size because you can't get everything even because nothing's perfect in this world. So, yeah, we're not going to mess with those. So next is his little button nose. That's like just two lines. He hasn't got a nose like, so you do the two lines with him. Some characters have like a nose like that. Or buttons. Join. Or just... Those are different types of noses I draw, or you got my favourite one. Damn. This isn't really annoying once you point in. Down for a lip. And then. All of a sudden, lips. This isn't really annoying one. So I'm going to get rid of all those because we don't need them. So, this isn't how to draw noses. This is drawing Jack Skellington. So give me a second, I'll get rid of all that. So with the noses, majority are gone. This page does not want to stay in my book today. Oh, it does. Good. So, we're going to draw his little mouth with the little stitches. I think they're stitches or they're meant to be like the outlines for his teeth. Something like that. So, that's just normal. You don't really need to mess around that. Good do Smiley Jack. That's really crooked. Smiley Jack. Smiley Jack skeleton. And then we'll just do... Little butts. Do this the whole way up his face. Magic! And now he right now looks possessed and creepy. That's when charcoal comes in. Let me give him eyes. So, just shading the eyes. So, we're shading the eyes. I was going to add something else, but I forgot what I was going to add. I'll go back to doing that in a minute. So, we shade in the eyes. Make him look less creepy. one eye and once done that this was supposed to be a blending pencil but then it, it unraveled so i've just folded it up make a little point out of it like that then we can blend it in then we can blend it all together make it one solid thing so you see it looks so much better than so blend blended non-blended 
Mm, that don't be alarmed if it looks like that afterwards. You cannot even see what I'm doing. I'm gonna shade around his eyes as well, and we'll get back and clean that up in a minute. So we shade over the eyes for one reason. I'm going to keep doing that because it gives an effect of how long he has been deceased. For I'll call it that word. I don't feel like being banned from Egypt today. Magic. His eyes are all puffy and smoky. Everything's blended. Kind of, it's like the makeup, smoky eye makeup. You can make it fabulous. So, figure out which pencil's which. More charcoal, and we'll do the other eye. And just like that, and it's free. And just like that. Eyes, I did add a bit more shading to that one. So now they're just like, like colourful black dots. So, rubber time, make it all fabulous. So we're going to neaten up the edges and just like separate where the eyes join so mold the rubber into the poor point got a lot of energy today so I made a lot of weird noises in the background that worked perfectly la di di la di di la di da 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 Do you want to kind of retain the shape of the circles? So we are going to make it as best as possible. And see, this was white, uh, like a greyish white when we started. Now it's all marbly and pretty. And just like that, we got the shape of the eyes back. So get rid of that. Next, we're going to get a sketch sketching pencil. I'm going to add something to him because he kind of does look creepy. So we are going to make him look pretty. We're going to give him a crown because he's Pumpkin King. So this one, can, this might take a minute. It's going to be like the basic crown design. <gasps> no, let's give him a tiara. Yeah. <laughs> It's tiara. It's massive. So give me a second and we'll fix it. So we've got the crown slash tiara thing on his head. We're going to add a little gem in the centre. We'll do teardrop shape. Whee. Whee. Magic. Gem. That is very off-centred. Do these little squiggly lines leading up to the gem. Wow, Pretty. Magic. So, next. Yeah. Brown pencil, which is this colour. It's not labelled, so it's a brown pencil. I'm just going to have a brown gem. This is so annoying. I don't use this i've not used these pencils before blending paper back out again piece of paper blending again i don't really do anything it's kind of just tearing up my paper because it doesn't want to blend so if it doesn't want to blend out on the edge and tops in with charcoal. And that's that. Now we're going to go grab a pen. So to outline, also give me one second. Got a pen. That's what we're going to be outlining in. Very pretty pen. Clicky noises. So we take pen. We take pen to paper and outline everything. So we start. We'll start with his nose because it's easy parts to do. No, now outside, I'll be back and finish it all off. Okay, so that is 
everything outlined. I did switch pens from that one to this because that one's like to not this good. So you can see where it didn't do as good on the eyes. I did outline the eyes. I'm not loving it, but it works because you can see where he's like his skin's or whatever you want to call it wavered. So now I'm gonna put the little signature at the top. And that is my drawing of Black Skeleton. So make sure you comment, like, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and I'll see you next video. Bye!